my name is Mark Yem. I'm from the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, I worked on making a quick change end effector for the PR2. All right, there's two basic parts to uh, changing the end effector. Uh, one is putting the current gripper away, um, leaving the uh, forearm open to attach another end effector. And then this, the second part is to attach that second end effector. The tricky part about attaching the second end effector is inserting the, that stub into the, the gripper. And uh, the way we did it was by um, actually just pre-recording the motions of the arms. The way that the end effector works, one part is held by the arm, um, and then there's the end effector here, which can be swapped out. In this case, uh, it's actually just a screwdriver. Normally what happens is the robot will have this set of end effectors mounted on the robot somewhere. The arm will come by dock with one end effector. When it docks, it'll actually oh, release the uh, end effector, the arm, so it can come out and then dock with another arm. So one of the things that happens when an end effector, um, it's when it swaps the end effectors, you want to have not only the mechanical connection, but the electrical connection, so the robot can communicate with the gripper to open and close or whatever. That's what we have on the end of this part. There's these uh, concentric rings, which are the uh, connectors that form the electrical connection between the robot arm and the gripper. Inside the gripper housing, there are what are called pogo pin connectors. So when the when this part goes into it, um, those pogo pin connectors make contact with these concentric rings.